BusyB Hub, the next generation customer order and job management software. This video will focus on BusyB Hub's main setup process. To make BusyB Hub work hand in hand with your organization, you will need to enter your business, employee, and other information in the software settings screen. To open the settings screen, click on the yellow gear symbol at the top right of the toolbar. In this case, since the settings screen is opening for the first time, BusyB Hub will ask that you create a separate single password in order to safeguard your settings, information from others who may also work in BusyB Hub. Make sure to write down this password as well as your BusyB Hub account username and password. Once you have entered the new settings password, the settings screen opens. This screen is made up of several sections that will be detailed in this video. So let's get started. In the account settings section, the account holder's name and email address will automatically fill in based on your original registration information. So there's no need to make any changes. Next, you can include an avatar for your account. Also, other users, typically other employees, can add their own avatar to identify their own subaccounts. Later in the video, we will show you how to create additional subaccounts if you have employees who will be working in BusyB Hub. On the Company Settings section, you can start by uploading a JPEG or PNG file containing your organization's logo. This logo will appear on all BusyB Hub quotes, invoices, purchase orders, and other client-facing forms. Next, enter your company's name, address, phone number, email, and physical locale information along with your website URL if one is available. If you know your local sales tax, enter it as a single or one-place decimal format. For example, if the sales tax rate in your area is 6.5%, enter 6.5 in the field and BusyB Hub will calculate and autofill the tax on each quote and invoice you generate. If you don't have that information, don't worry. You can always come back and update this information at a later time. If you choose to include a handling fee as part of your customer quote and invoices, enter the percentage rate in the handling fee percentage field. For example, to include a handling fee of 7.5%, on your quote, enter 7.5. Now, let's move on to the catalog section. If you use a product catalog such as Alpha Broder, Sandmar, or SNS, enable one or more checkboxes to link them to BusyB Hub. When these catalogs are linked, you will be able to enter a product item number from that catalog directly into a BusyB Hub's quotes item number field. That, in turn, will autofill the description and price field for that product. Next, choose how you would like to format your customer listing, by last name or first name. Based on your preferences, choose the appropriate checkbox. Let's move on to the next section. If your organization has employees who will be working in BusyB Hub, select the Click Here link to open the Employee User Account screen. To create a new employee subaccount, enter his or her first and last name, email address, username and password in the appropriate fields and click the Add User button. The new username will then appear in the employee's user account listings. Just make sure to tell your employees how to access their new account. The Social Media Links section connects BusyB Hub to your accounts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn, allowing you to post links, images, and text to your customers and potential customers around the world. At this time, the social media function is currently being designed by the BusyB Hub development team and will be rolled out in a future version. On the Passwords section, you can change the account password that was first created when you registered with BusyB Hub. To update the BusyB Hub account password, just enter and confirm the new password. In addition, you can also change the separate settings page password. Simply enter a new password and select the Save Password button. Another great feature of BusyB Hub 
is that it integrates with the Stripe Payments platform, so you can receive online payments from your customers. If you already have an account set up with Stripe, enter your Stripe public and secret key in the appropriate fields, and select the Save Stripe Details button. Going forward, any customer payments made through Stripe will appear in BusyBee Hub's payment screen. Of course, if you don't have a Stripe account, select the yellow Click Here link to set up a new account. Now that you've entered all the necessary information on the Settings page, let's complete this process by clicking the green Save Settings button at the bottom of the Settings screen. You have now completed the first part of the Busy Bee Hub setup process. Now that wasn't so bad. As you delve deeper into the Busy Bee Hub application, you will discover additional ways to customize the many screen elements that are not included in the initial settings screen. On the next video, we will show you how to work with the Enhanced Settings menu that will allow you to define custom mockups, item categories, and more. To learn more about what BusyBee Hub can do for your own creative business, go to BusyBeeHub.com and start your free trial today, or watch our other training videos.